Hi there. My name is Arjun and this is a quick demo of AppRite. AppRite is a new test framework for end-to-end -end testing of mobile applications. Now, end-to-end -end testing is not a new problem. In fact, I started working on it in 2019 when I was on the Playwright team at Microsoft. And, and there I saw, you know, what a well-designed end-to-end testing framework can do, um, you know, for fast-moving teams who are trying to ship high-quality software. Uh, this time around, I'm working on a startup where we are building AI agents that write and maintain end-to-end -end tests for both web and mobile applications. When we were venturing into mobile, we actually realized that, you know, the mobile world does not have something equivalent to a playwright, which brings, you know, an automation driver and a test runner inside one package, which would make it very easy for someone to get started with end-to-end -end testing. We felt that this was a gap worth filling, um, and which is why uh, we released AppRite. Um, we shipped our first public release today, uh, so AppRite is available on NPM for you to try. Uh, and it's also open source, uh, so it's on GitHub uh, for you to check out and uh, uh, you know file issues at. Um, now this video is not so much about the core concepts. You know We've covered that in our launch blog post, and I'll share a link to that um, in the video description. Um, this one is more about just giving you a sense of how AppRite runs. So I'm inside my editor, uh, where I've created a simple project where I'm going to be demoing AppRite. So to get started with AppRite, uh, all you need to do is npm install AppRite. Um, I've already done that, uh, and so I can open, you know, my package JSON file uh, and show you AppRite being the only dependency I have. Now this is crucial because. You know, with AppRite, we wanted to make sure that this is one package that brings, you know, an automation driver, a test runner, test reporter, all in one go. This means that your team or you don't have to spend days, you know, configuring various different pieces together. Now, once you have AppRite installed, it's time to configure, um, configure it. That happens inside a file called appright.config.ts. Let me just open that and show you what that looks like. So inside this file, I'm going to be defining a couple of projects. I have one project for iOS and another one for Android. In both of these projects, uh, we're going to be testing um, the Wikipedia mobile app. Uh, so I have those builds um, uh, in this directory here. And I'm going to be running these tests on emulator devices locally. So I'm going to use the iOS simulator uh, for iOS and you know an Android emulator device here. Now, AppRite actually runs APM under the hood, which means that you can actually use it to test real devices or remote device farms that are compatible with APM, uh, for example, browser stack. Uh, for now, I'm just going to use the N emulator. Uh, let me show you uh, what that experience looks like. So I'm back inside my terminal, and I can basically just run uh, npx AppRite and pass the name of the project that I want to run. Uh, let's say I want to run Android to start with. Now, once I do this, um, AppRite spins, you know, an Appium server under the hood where it's attempting to run one test. Let's open what that test looks like. So I have my tests inside the test folder. And remember how I said that AppRite brings together a test framework and automation driver together? That basically ensures that you can use AppRite uh, not only to write tests, but also to make automation calls to your device. So as our Android device is loading here, you know, it's going to be installing the Wikipedia app for us. I'll show you what this test looks like. So we're testing for searching for Italy and then finding Roman contents. We're opening the Wikipedia page. We're clicking on the search input. Uh, we're entering Italy. Uh, and then we're searching for the contents of the page uh, just to make sure that Rome was in it. My test actually ran in about 50 seconds and uh, it generated an HTML report, uh, which I can actually go and take a look at. This is the power of integrating, you know, an automation driver and a test runner together. Let's go back into the code and, you know, just show you a bit more carefully on what's happening. So if I hover over this test method, you'll see that, you know, some of these things actually have Playwright in them. That's because AppRight uses the Playwright test runner under the hood. The Playwright test runner is really purpose-built for the end-to-end -end testing workflow. 
Uh, for instance, it comes with an HTML report that I was just showing you in my browser. That's not really the case for like an average test runner out there because many of them are focused on, you know, unit testing as opposed to end-to-end -end testing. By building on top of Playwright's test runner, AppRite has a bunch of these capabilities out of the box. Um, and with subsequent releases, you know, we'll customize them more for the mobile use case. Now, every test in AppRite gets a device object. This device object uh, essentially packages all automation actions that you can do with the device. So the device loads our app for us. Um, and once the app is loaded, it enters this test method. So the first thing it does is that it shows me the Wikipedia splash screen and I need to click skip to sort of move that forward. To do that, I'm using a method called get by text, which uses the text of the, um, uh, you know, the, of the UI component and just taps on it. Next, I click on the input field. Um, so uh, I did, you know, get by text, search Wikipedia, which was the placeholder text of the input field. Uh, and then I uh, filled Italy as my search query in that. Now, the key thing here is that, you know, these APIs have user facing attributes, which are being used to select the element, right? I'm not looking at XPath, I'm not looking at any internal implementation. I'm only concerned with, um, you know, what is my user going to be seeing? Because that is a much tighter and a more maintainable contract. Uh, for my tests to also follow. Similarly, you know, this test does not have any, you know, um, timeouts um, because each of these actions are auto waiting for, you know, the underlying elements to be ready uh, and interactable uh, before, you know, the automation attempts to sort of, you know, fulfill an action. If they're not ready, you know, it automatically retries and so on. Again, that ensures that your tests are super readable to, read, to, to and, and, you know, maintainable. Um, and, you know, you don't need to be playing, you know, um, uh, the timeout whack-a-mole really, which, uh, you know, ends up plaguing end-to-end -end tests. Now, obviously, this is a very basic example. And, uh, you know, we're currently running a test suite that has about 100 tests with AppRide. Uh, so, you know, it's been battle tested in a certain environment. Um, and uh, as I was sharing earlier, um, you know, AppRite is available on GitHub. Uh, so you can actually head over to uh, GitHub, um, you know, search for AppRite or open this particular URL directly. Um, you know, feel free to sort of file issues or give us a shot. Um, uh, if it, you know, seems good, uh, remember to start the repo as well. Um, AppRite is super new and, you know, we're attempting to make it better with every, you know, incremental release and get it closer to a 1.0 release. Um, and, you know, your contributions would be really welcome uh, towards that direction. So that was really it, um, you know, quick intro to what we've built with AppRite. Uh, and, uh, you know, hope you get to try it out and please do share your feedback. Thanks so much.